Hello, people. This is the Indigo Experiment. Welcome back to more of the Legend of Zelda Sky Resort. Last time, I um kept on babbling about my little pup named Beard to do anything. So this time, that's not the button I want to press. This time, we're actually going to do what we were supposed to do here. Let's do this. This right here. And basically playing the harp in general is very easy for anyone with a basic sense of timing. Just keep it in time with the circle. Music in this game. I love the ballad of the goddess. I just love it. It's so great. Anyway, um, yeah, magic laser. Just kind of shooting there. Just you know, looks so great and stuff. But really, I just love it. It's just so good. I, it's just good. I like it. Buddy, I was anyway, yes. Okay. I was going to do that anyway, but you know. So let's just stand up here and enjoy this music just a bit longer. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> anyway. Let's go and see what's at the end of that thing. Let's go through the shortcut stone that is leading pretty squarely away from our destination, and sharp right, there we go. Now that we're at top speed, let's just go through here, and well, oh come on, is it gonna happen or not? It's not gonna happen? Okay. I mean, that's kind of weird, because this place is tornado territory. You know, tornadoes will just pop up, and if you fly into it, I don't really know what happens, because I've never flown into one. These things, these giant centipede things, I have no idea what they're called, but they're jerks. They will try to kill you, and they make weird clicky noises. And they actually look pretty cool. You know, you can kill them like that if you want. But basically, aerial combat isn't really worth it in general. You just, um, you know, you can generally go fast enough to outfly them stuff. So inside the thundercloud there are quite a few islands that you can visit here as you can see. Uh, oh, inside the thunderhead, sorry. As well as apparently a goddess cube or a goddess chest. Let's see what's in it. It is somewhere around this side. Um yeah. I think it's around Yeah, there it is. Crack it open for gold ruby. Whoa. Okay, I did not remember that being there. So, our destination. Oh, I have 613 rubies. Come on, I could have 612. Is that hole up there? We cannot reach it. So, let's just call our birdie again. Let's. We should really name our name our bird. Problem is, well, I don't know enough about Celtic gods and goddesses. No, because um, Epona was, I think, a Celtic god that or goddess that is like, linked to a horse somehow. I don't really know. I, I need to do research! So, right here, the Isle of Songs. This um, is actually, I guess you could say, a tradition in the Zelda series of having one area that's basically just kind of a large puzzle. In, um, say, let's see, I can't actually remember one in Ocarina of Time. I guess if I can, it'll come to me, but I don't know. Um, I remember two major, um, two major examples 
in um, Twilight Princess, it was the um, area in the Sacred Grove with the statues that you had to um, move back to their original positions, where um, one left in the same direction that you left, and um, the other went to the opposite direction. And in Wind Waker, there was a part where um, basically you had three giant triangle blocks, and, and you had to um, push them in back into the Triforce form. Catch was, they were too big to push just plainly, you had to push them in a direction that was, um, I guess you could say acceptable? I don't know. Anyway, well, not, not acceptable, but you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, there's some stuff. Or, you know, you had to push them in, like, uh, angles. You could only turn them. Like, by pushing on their edges. So, these things, right here, you can hit these to um, make things, um, walls come up that block it. Those ones block the, um, inner and middle ones. This one blocks the inner and outer ones. And this one only blocks the inner ones. So. I am actually going... I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Let's see, so. Center pedestal is confusing. Right. So it basically just tells you what to do. Let's just click this. I don't know what I'm doing. So every time one of those things moves, then, um, well, things happen. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Um. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I do, actually. Actually, no, I, I really, I seriously don't. Let's see. So if I do that, I could match that up there, and then, um, no. Wait a second. So, let's see, let's hit the left now. I could then, um, push this all the way around to stick the- Ah, yeah, I know what I'm doing now. Yeah, there we go. Now those match, and then hit it right there. Ha ha, yeah, there we go. Come on, push that thing, Link. One more, there we go. Now the bridge is all lined up. So, let's just push it there, so that we can get it around as much as- Well, actually, wait, no, let's just push it- Yeah, push it past there. And now, just hit there again, and we have it basically just home free. We are home free. I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't remember how to do this, because... <laughs> it makes me feel intelligent. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. That is beautiful. I love that. No, the pedestal's gone. Oh, well. We can hit that again if we want, but I really don't feel like it. So let's just run through here. I like. I love how this ivy looks. I mean, it's obviously just a painted on texture, but who cares? It looks really nice. You know, the ivy with the little flowers and the vine, or whatever it is. And, uh. Save that. And let's walk forward into this big area with a big old bottomless pit. There's the goddess's face on the wall back there, surrounded by two Triforces. If you look around, there are a whole bunch of other stuff. There's a Triforce over there too. There's... can't even see the ceiling. This is obviously a very old and very important building. <laughs> My ear itches. I don't know if you can hear that or not, that's just me scratching my ear. Get a 
exploded and died to the end. And then, implanted directly into her mind by the goddess herself, Furore's courage. the first of three songs that we will use to open the trials. I think I am ready. Come on, let's do this. Also, I love Furore's courage. It's just so nice. Anyway, yeah, obviously we're gonna want to leave here and head to Farron Woods. I'm gonna save the game again. Uh, <laughs> burped. Why do I taste a hot dog? I didn't even eat a hot dog. I mean, that means nothing to you and is completely irrelevant, but oh well. Eh. <laughs> Oh, also, I think I should tell you, I think I told you this before, but I just want to make absolutely certain that you guys know this. There are exactly four pieces of heart in this game that I will be obtaining last. Well, actually, exactly five. But, um, one is because I want that one to be obtained last because, well, I think it has, I guess, sort of an emotional thing to it. And of the other four, however, are because, well... They are all very annoying and, um, just plain old stupid to get. You guys get out of my way! Anyway, yeah, they're all annoying and stupid to get, and I don't like them very much. Let's see, hold on. We're still in tornado territory. So, why have I not been attacked by any tornadoes? so far. Oh, well. I mean, you know. I'm not gonna complain about it. Ah! Hello! Jeez! People! Let's see. Uh. <sighs> there are things that I want to eat, like ponies and babies. I want to eat them! Yes, I do. Anyway, yeah, the other four are really annoying to get. Like, why is this silver rupee? And I don't really care. Anyway, and I'm not going to get them because I don't like them. I mean, I'm going to get them, of course, but I'm not going. I'm going to get them last, even though I can technically get them much earlier. They all involve mini games, and they're all stupid to get. Now, well, I'm going to choose in the woods because, well, that's about halfway through the area. And I don't have the um, statue that's closest to it yet because I was stupid! <laughs> anyway, let's see. Play the origin. Yeah, well. <sighs> um. Let's see, hold on. I hear a Bakablin! Oh, these things right here. Blue Bakoblin. This is a dangerous form of Bakoblin. Many times stronger than a red Bakoblin. Skin and clothing differ due to its hailing for a different environment, but it still has the same fixation with exotic undergarments. Basically, yes, these are an upgrade on Bakoblins that are stronger. Stop this! Stop this! 
but, you know, will still be knocked down by a good three-hit combo. And you can still then hit them with a good finishing strike. Hey, dudes! So let's go here. Now, again, notice here that that, that thing is, well, basically for Roar's symbol without the inner circle. This will become important soon enough. Oh, hey, look. It's the first amber relic that I obtained in this particular... Dude! Oh, well. Not much I can do about it now. Anyway, yes, this right here. It's a Quadrobaba! All the enemies here have gotten upgrades. Yay. And it's the first jelly block. <sighs> this is a heart! It restores one unit of health! Dude! Who? Why? Hey, you know, how about we make it so that every single time they turn on the game, it reminds you of what the, all the treasures they do it are. Well, they get do the first time they get them. After oh, hi! Even if... You know, even the ones that they have like 45 of! Oh, that sounds like a great idea! Let's do it! Oh. Okay, this is rocks. What, what am I even doing? Okay. Whoa, it threw, it threw a hole in it. I don't even know right now. Uh, uh, um, I heard keys. Okay, on, where are the freaking keys? Okay, actually, I'm going to try something here. You can catch a fairy in a bug net. If you have an empty bottle, then it will immediately catch it. But I don't have an empty bottle. I like that because it doesn't force you to take out your fairy bottle. Where are the keys that I keep hearing? Okay, yeah. I'm just going now to use um, my slingshot on both of these jerks. Because I don't like them. And there's no way I am ever going to go past and jostle them again. Because it's stupid and I don't like it. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't be stupid, Link. Well, actually, this is a pretty stupid thing itself. Yeah, there's a very fine line between being courageous and being stupid. Hey, look. It's all the Kikwis. I don't really care, though. They're just kind of there. I'm not gonna talk to them. They can't help me, and I'm racist. Or something. I mean, all the Kikwi are gonna either die out or just stop existing anyway. Oh, well, we found our trial gate. So, you know. Now, there is a one thing up here that I forgot. It is, well, it's the, um, this thing that I honestly <laughs> did not do it, even though it was just about right along the path. Well, we now have this. Anyway, you're going to want to save your game. And down here, I am actually going to stop this right now. And we're going to um, see what's beyond this thing right here next time. So, until next time, this has been the Indigo Experiment. And we're done here.